let's get started. We're still uh, going to keep on with page number 280, the blending is lean topic, but uh, just the last two lines were left from yesterday's topic. So let's get started from there. Lead, which is an element in the periodic table, actually tetraethyl lead, a compound of lead. Uh, I want you all to please write, note down the formula over here. Let me write it for you so that you can copy it over here. Actually, the name of the compound is tetraethyl lead. Okay. This is actually C2H5PB, the formula, and the commonly known name is TEL, tetraethyl lead. Or even this abbreviation TEL, tetraethyl lead, has been used in past papers of IGCSC and GCSC. Make sure you copy it down. Now this tetraethyl lead in past was added to gasoline to prevent knocking. This was the first compound which was considered uh, as an antidote to the knocking problem, uh, but let me tell you in uh, recent years, specifically from 1996 onwards, we came to know that this is a very harmful compound. So all over the world, the use of tetraethyl lead is banned. Now, when you will go to a uh, refilling station in Pakistan, be it PSO or Adak Petroleum or Shell or any other big name, brand name, okay, you will find the words lead free uh, over there, written over there, right on the filling station or the advertising areas of the filling station, wherever they advertise their product, the words lead free or no lead involved or no lead added or no tell present, these are the words usually used by the companies to tell people that they are not using the specific compound in order to prevent knocking in cars to be added to gasoline, right? Aapko bade easily, in, in fact, sabse zada common ya aapko PSO ke pumps par milega, jahaan par unho ne apna uh, octane number 92, RON 92 ke uh, wording mein quote kiya hota hai, wahaan par unho ne lead free bhi likha hota hai, thik hai? Even if you have car lubricants or bike lubricants, motor oils, then you can sell the bottles. You can sell the bottles. You can sell bottles. You can sell lead free, no tetraethyl lead added, no tell present. You can sell the wordings. You can sell the market. You can sell the proof. You can sell the bank substance. Ek illegal substance for use nahi kare. Now definitely the first question that arises in a student mind is that why it's bad? If it prevents knocking in cars and if it is increasing the engine life, then why is it bad? So the next lines are going to answer this question. Uh, I hope you're done writing as the formula of the compound. Moving on, uh, but this caused high, just a second levels of lead in the air. Now what happens with the high levels of lead in the air, particularly in large cities where we have a lot of traffic. We're talking about the cities like Karachi, Lahore, Faisalabad, the densely populated city, now even uh, Multan, Islamabad, Rawalpindi, uh, Koida are also included in this uh, specific aspect. Okay. This led to the concern over the link with brain damage in young children. Let me tell you, lead is an element uh, which your body can get rid of after you have crossed the age of 16 or 18. But when you are from six years to 16 years old, you are considered a young child whose body is not completely capable of getting rid of that lead. So that lead is actually linked with brain damage. What does the word brain damage mean over here? Usually, uh, the first and foremost thing that is said of among the scientists of the world is that it's linked to the memorizing capabilities. The children and are then enabled to memorize properly. Okay, Matlab, let me clarify the uh, scenario over here. Aapko hirani hogi sunkar ke ek bohat zada traffic wale city mein ek bacha hai jo apne parents ke saath car mein nikalta hai, jata hai or it takes a breath and it is leaded fuel, okay? 
और लेडेड फ्यूल में सांस लेने की वजह से उसकी बॉडी में लेड चला जाता है और उसकी बॉडी लेड से प्रॉपरली जो है रेड ऑफ नहीं कर सकेगी उससे बॉडी उससे जो ना वेस्ट के तौर पर रिमूव नहीं कर सकेगी थ्रू सॉलिड और लिक्विड वेस्ट तो क्या होगा कि वही लेड उसकी बॉडी में कुछ टाइम तक रहने के बाद ब्रेन डैमेज कॉज करना शुरू कर देगा और उस बच्चे की मेमोराइजिंग कैपेबिलिटीज कम होनी शुरू हो जाएंगे ये वो है जो साइंटिस्ट ने थ्रू दर एक्सपेरिमेंट देखा है ऑब्जर्व किया दुनिया में और हम क्या करते हैं कि हम उनसे बच्चे को मूवमेंट बुरा ट्रीट करते हैं तुम्हें अपनी पढ़ाई में चीजें याद नहीं रहती तुम्हें ये हो जाता है तुम्हें वो हो जाता है हम उसे बहुत कुछ कहते हैं एक्चुअली बच्चे का कोई कसूर नहीं होता उसने सिर्फ एक पोल्यूटेड एनवायरमेंट पे ब्रीथ किया होता है और उसकी बॉडी ने ऐसे लेड पार्टिकल्स पिक कर लिए होते हैं जिनसे वो चाहते हुए भी जो है वो उसे रिमूव नहीं कर सक रही होती अवेलेबल and has to be used in modern cars a modern cars mein ek aur cheez hai usme catalytic converters hote hain remember catalytic converters is something that we studied back in chapter number 7 so hum aisa karte hain ki hum thoda sa revision ke liye piche jate hain chapter number 7 mein aur wahan par dekhte hain catalytic converters ke bare mein aapko humne kya padhaya hua now Here in chapter number seven, there was a topic that was related to catalysts, and when we studied catalysts, in the example of catalysts, we studied catalytic converters. Catalytic converters were actually used to reduce the polluting effect of car exhaust. Car exhaust included carbon monoxide, a toxic poisonous gas, nitrogen monoxide, and unburnt hydrocarbons, which caused a lot of pollution in the air. Catalytic converters were actually made up of this beehive type system for the increased surface area to be able to convert these harmful gases CO, NO, and unburnt hydrocarbons. By that we mean methane, ethane, propane, stuff like that. Okay, they were able to convert them into carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water with a few reactions. Three of those reactions were given over here. Carbon monoxide upon reaction with oxygen was converted into carbon dioxide, a relatively much less harmful gas. In fact, an, uh, it's not a poisonous gas. CO is poisonous. CO two is not poisonous. In fact, our body keeps producing CO two all the day and keeps uh, uh, throwing it out of the body through our respiration system. Okay. <coughs> Actually, through our breathing system, respiration is somewhat different. Now, uh, NO and CO may react together to form N2, which is the most abundant gas in the air, and CO2, which again, once again, is pretty harmless. Now, NO can also be converted into N2 and O2, which are the most abundant gases, which uh, together form 99% of the air, uh, pretty harmless. Okay, so catalytic converter was able to do that. Now there were a few lines over here which I'd like to go through. Catalytic converter removes all polluting oxides and unburnt hydrocarbons. Now this reaction can be speed up by producing a honeycombed surface or a surface like this, as you can see in the diagram. Okay, on which the gases can react, which acts acts as a catalyst. Actually, this catalyst is a mixture of rhodium and platinum on a solid honeycomb surface. the uh, catalysts have many tiny pores which provide a very large surface area for the reactions to occur but catalytic converters have a problem that when they are used with unleaded fuel uh, they can only be used with unleaded fuel when they are used with leaded fuel a fuel that contains lead the presence of lead would poison the catalyst how would it poison the catalyst it simply blocks the surface on which the gases can absorb and get reacted okay other impurities do not get deposited on the catalyst surface so the converter eventually needs replacing after a number of years but if you're going to use leaded fuel the converter might need the replacing right away so leaded fuel is actually a big problem not just to the amount of lead in the air 
and becoming a brain damage source for children, for young children, not for adults, but for young children. Uh, you might have a question what happens with adults then. In most of the cases, the adults get kidney stones because of lead. They, get, they do not get brain damage because their brain is completely developed and body is capable of throwing this lead out of our bodies. But sometimes, even if it sticks in our body, it stays inside the kidneys where it forms stones, which then later on becomes a kidney stone problem. A kidney stone problem is a problem for life. So it is also considered a big problem for adults as well. But this is a research on which some scientists agree and some don't. However, uh, the problem with uh, catalytic converter sticks. All the scientists do agree this, to this point that uh, lead is actually a poison to the catalytic converters and they don't work that good. In fact, they stop working altogether and the polluted gases do come out of the car from the car exhaust system. All right. So this explains the whole thing about the bending of, uh, blending of gasoline, but with something that is not used. So lead would poison the catalyst. The removal of sulfur from gasoline fractions is now very efficient. Car exhaust emissions contain very little sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, unburnt hydrocarbons, which are uh, simply coded as HCs, unburnt HCs, and oxides of nitrogen, which are coded as NOx, because oxide of nitrogen can be present in the form of NO2 or NO, or there are other oxides as, as well, such as N2O5, N2O, N2O3. So we simply write them as NOx, which means all the oxides of nitrogen. They're present in exhaust fumes, do continue to cause concern, but they are, these are very little amounts. The levels of emissions of these compounds are reduced by fitting a catalytic converter to the exhaust, so the amounts are reduced so uh, much that they do not become a concern anymore. <coughs> Gasoline vapors also escape in, into the air at petrol stations. Modern pumps have now hoods on nozzles to cut down the escape of fumes so that this also doesn't become a problem. All right. So this explains everything about blessing of gasoline, blending of gasoline, and uh, the usage of gasoline in modern cars. Is that clear for everyone? Any questions from this part? No, sir. <clears throat> All right. Sir, fuel, sir, fuel में से lead को कैसे निकालते हैं? Separate कैसे करते हैं? बेटा fuel में lead actually exist नहीं करता. हमने knocking remove करने के लिए जो tel इस्तेमाल किया tetraethylide उसकी वजह से fuel में lead is add हुआ. Basically fuel में lead exist नहीं करता था. जब हम fuel को निकालते हैं जमीन से डकरते हैं तो उसमें lead exist नहीं करता. ज़्यादातर दुनिया की जगहें ऐसी हैं जिसमें से fuel जो dig किया जाता है from Earth's crust does not contain any percentage of lead. So lead we have added ourselves and created this problem. Allah's side, this problem exists not exist. What was our petrol reservoirs or crude oil reservoirs in Earth, there was no lead exist. Okay? So we don't need to get out of it. It was an extra addition that we had done. But it was wrong. Over a period of usage of approximately 20 to 25 years, we came to know that this is causing a problem. And much of the science is about that. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. All right. So what we are going to do on Monday is that we are going to go for this alternative fuel source on Monday. Uh, I could have done it today, but uh, only if we started around 11 p.m. and we have good 20 minutes to do that. But as we don't even have now 12 to 30 minutes, so I'm not going to start it. Let's take a shorter lesson today and wind up the class. What do you say? Yes. Sir. All right. Any questions before I uh, end the class? Sir, one thing to ask, knocking is what means? Knocking is actually the sound that is produced uh, prior to ignition of the car. And that is produced usually because the fuel is too easy to burn. And when we try to burn a little bit of fuel, we burn 
to extra fuel, the fuel that uh, the engine is not able to capacitize in the given capacity of the engine. So what happens is that we get a sound pretty similar to door knocking, tuck, tuck, tuck sound in the, at the start, at the self time of the car. So that decreases the engine life of the car whenever it happens. So what they did is that first, the sound is irritating. It's not good. Uh, quieter cars are being built nowadays. Also, this decreases engine life because the car has to be started many times a day. It may happen that you start it 10 times a day, maybe more, maybe less. So every time the same knocking sound will come out and every time it's going to harm the engine, which decreases the engine life approximately from two to four years at an average. Or if the engine life kafi zada. Years may the engine life calculate huni shuruja kam huna kisi bi factor se to factor a chak and said ni kiata. So, what we did is that we came up with a better fuel quality which uh, not burnt with a difficulty or with too e uh, much ease that it should have taken the appropriate amount of time and resource. Naha itni delia ke apu bed ke fuel burn on a cafe kana pare, just a barbecue me kana pata. Solid fuel otana.